What's up everybody, it's Dusty Dungeon Master, and I know that I have spent an ass ton of money, a literal ass ton of money on minis over the last couple of weeks. The last couple of videos have been, uh, excessive. So today, today, I want to talk about tools. Tools you're gonna need to do all this shit when it comes to minis, everything. All right, stock standard. Flush cutters, flat blade, blue handle, sometimes black handle, doesn't matter. You're gonna buy them off of Amazon, you're gonna buy the GW clippers, you're gonna buy the Army Painter clippers. I'm here to tell you why not. Okay, here is a brand new set of green skins. I'm, I'm sorry, Iron Jaws. Uh, the AOS collector, uh, start collecting set. All right, boop. Where's the biggest, where is the biggest waste of time when it comes to minis? Well, when it comes to GW products, it's in cleanup. Because If you look here, requires cleanup. All right. Yeah, he's got a pretty gnarly, he's actually got a pretty gnarly head mold line on the head anyway. So I gotta fix that up anyway. But what I wanna tell you guys about. All right, so we're gonna do it on this one too. Old pack of Skeleton Warriors, 2009. Right, picked these up Black Friday at uh, Comic Store West. They're running a deal. All right, so let's grab this guy. Gonna start with him. Right there at the arm. Right there at the arm. Right here at the base. Boop. Boop. All right. So standard flush cutters. Heavy duty flush cutters, I promise you guys, they're all the same. These came with every Ender 3 that I've owned. They're really decent flush cutters, but they are standard. All right, give them a bend, do all the fun stuff. So anywhere between uh, eight, $20 on, uh, online, or anywhere that you would purchase them. Big home improvement shop. But the problem is, you're getting these ugly, ugly lines. You're getting all this stuff. So now you gotta grab your sanding stick. You gotta grab a piece of sandpaper, run it down. You gotta sit here and fiddle with a damn razor blade. Just, uh, uh. And it's okay, because it's getting hidden in the base, so. Uh, uh, look at all this fucking effort. Oh, God. It's already boring me to death. And I came here to do a, an instructional for you. Here. Here's what you should run out immediately. And, I don't know, go nuts. Buy 50 pairs of them. And I'll tell you why. These are cuticle clippers. Cuticle clippers. The back of your little finger. From the Dollar Tree. They are a dollar. A dollar six after taxes in Pennsylvania. There's no reason at all to buy the Army Painter branded or any branded flush cutters. And here's why. These guys, I just finished putting my Warcry box set together. If you watched that video, that Warcry box set was nothing but these thingies that I suddenly can't remember the name of. I think I just went blank. Um, nothing but these bits. All right. I will say that beyond this, these things are amazing. When it comes to simple, small cuts, these cut better, closer, and more precisely than anything else that I have ever used. 
and they're a buck. I'm positive that you can get cuticle clippers more than likely for the same price many other places. I've made no effort to go out and shop around as of yet, but the difference is these have a tiny blade and a small point of pressure. They have, they have a small clinch point makes the biggest difference when cutting flashing off of I can't believe I cannot remember the name of these. Mold plant Sprues! Sprues! Dear God, guys. Saturday. My brain's just dumb. Yeah, these have saved me so much effort. When it came to that Warcry box set, that thing was nothing but sprues. Sprues for terrain, for a whole bunch of pieces of terrain, both armies, everything. It took me a lifetime, two solid weeks of working here and there to get everything out of that box, cut and assembled. I will say that's the only down, that's the only detractor to that Warcry box set, but I will still swear by it until I am dead. Look at this, just boop. These are just devilishly sharp. They require no pressure at all to cut through. They are lovely. They, they are just a lovely addition to your arsenal. And apart from these thicker bits on these old models that have that, that's where you hear that clicking. They're not, it's, it's just got a better feel than the flush cutters do. And man, they just do a much better job. And they've done, they do a better job compared to anything else that I have done or used any other tool product. So I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys just to let you know, stop buying branded products when it comes to tools. They are all the same. It is all gear. If you're a gearhead, that's fine. You do your thing. But I want to let you guys know the excess that I spend on minis is because I find ways of frugality in the rest of my hobby existence. I don't craft myself for the sake of terrain, which is fine with me. I usually 3D print, and I stopped doing that for a while. Sold both my printers and just kinda me. It's all right, you fall in and out of love with it. It's one of those things. There's not really a lasting need for 3D printing, but this is the old, you know, this is old plastic that's been sitting in this box since 2009 shipped between friendly local game store and friendly local game store just an overstock product that was still that you can still find red boxes in some game stores every now and then there and i'll say they're often a better deal uh when it comes to especially when it comes to minions um finding an old clan rats box set uh, you know uh finding an old battalion box. Uh, there was a demonettes of. No, it wasn't Slanesh. It was. I think it was just a Chaos Horde battalion box at my game store that had been sitting there. It was on deep clearance for. I think it was one hundred ten dollars and then thirty percent off. You know, twenty or. I think it sat at twenty percent off for the longest time. And uh, I kept meaning to go get it and. Lo and behold, waited too long. And uh, was this? Oh, well, I walked in there the other day. Wanted to see if it was still there. It's payday. It's a good, happy day. It wasn't there anymore. There you go. Not fighting them. These have a... So the ones from the Dollar Tree have a small spring. Small. It's not even a spring. It's a wire attachment to create pressure and bounce back. I personally don't mind. I'm a lefty, as you can tell, but when I'm working with these, it's just, they're so easily manipulated, and guess what? If they last you through a couple of boxes of GW, it's okay, because you were smart, and you bought five of them the last time you went to the Dollar Tree. These are fucking amazing, for the sake of plastic. Pardon the language, but, uh, yeah. These are just, 
Excellent. Here, let's get in. As the other thing is the precision tip and the ability to get into some of these minis is much different. It's much more accessible. Right in there. Just boop. Just cock the hand a little bit. You don't have to fight with it. You don't have to waste the time. That's the biggest thing when it comes to these guys. If you're going to get ready to paint, boop, he's done. So I like that I constantly make facial expressions to to uh, add to my statements and then realize that I rarely ever am on camera. Anyway, all right, yeah, spend the dollar, totally worth it. See you guys.